Hey Skyslopers! In this video, we're taking a close look at our exciting new Create Transaction experience in Skyslope. Let's dive in! From the Skyslope homepage, start by clicking on Create Transaction. If you're either representing the seller or both sides, you'll want to make sure you start by creating a listing file, not a transaction file. You should only create a transaction if you're only representing the buyer. Once you're ready to create your buyer file, start by searching by either the property address or the MLS number. Then select the best match either from the MLS or from Google Maps results. We will import all of the available property data we can find to give you a jump start on your file. In the Transactions section, start by selecting your property type. Scroll down to ensure the imported details are correct. To make adjustments, simply click Edit to update the information and then click Save. Once all details are correct, click Continue to move forward. Watch as the blue transaction progress bar grows to show your progress. Next, we'll continue with our final transaction details like purchase price, acceptance date, expected closing date, and escrow number. Now we'll click Continue to move on to the contact section. You'll start with your primary contact, the buyer. Enter in the required fields for your first buyer contact. If you have a second buyer, you can add their details after you've added the first. Next, you'll move on to the sellers. Again, start by entering the details for the first seller and then proceed with any additional sellers or click continue to move on to the next contact. Here we'll confirm the agents working on this transaction. If necessary, you can click edit to correct the details of the listing agent. If you're working with a co-agent on the buyer side, click Add Another Buyer's Agent to give them access to your Skyslope file. You can search your company's agent directory to add a co-agent to your file. Once all of the agents have been added, click Continue to move on to the next contact section. In this section, you will enter contact details for your escrow and title contacts. Escrow is the only required contact, but you can enter details for the title company if they'll be involved in this deal. Then click Continue to move forward. For these final contacts, you will select either yes or no and only enter contact details where they are applicable. For example, we do have a lender for this deal, so I'll select yes and then enter the contact details for the lender. After clicking Continue, you'll be taken to the next applicable contacts. You can select either yes or no and then fill in the details as necessary. After clicking Continue, we've completed all of the contacts and are moving on to the commission. We've already entered our purchase price and now we can enter the sale and listing commission either as a percentage or as a flat dollar amount. As we enter the commission details, we can watch the commission breakdown update to the right. Then scroll down to enter any other deductions or notate any other important commission breakdown details in the notes box. After entering all the commission details, you're ready to click Create Transaction. We will compile all of the MLS details and your data to create the file, and you will land directly on the checklist page, where you can submit your signed contracts to be reviewed. And just like that, you created a Skyslope transaction in record time. If you have any questions about our new Create Transaction flow, please don't hesitate to reach out to our 24-7 support team. Happy Skysloping!